That's right. U.S. Environmental Protection Agency Administrator Gina McCarthy announced 218 brownfield grants to be handed out across the country. Now, this particular grant pays for land assessments to properties that may have been contaminated, allows for developers to know firsthand what problems there may be with the land, what needs to be fixed or removed, and the cost for whatever may need to be done to get the ground ready to be built on. McCarthy stood atop a successful project that used this same grant to assess a former contaminated site that has been turned into a housing complex. Across the Old North End, you can find housing projects that have all utilized this EPA grant. It's a tremendously successful Brownfields Revolving Loan Fund. You use it wisely. It really is a model for the rest of the country, and that's one of the reasons I'm here, is that if people learn from you, we will all be better off. And it's exactly the kind of investment that we want. It is putting jobs and housing um, in our historic downtowns, in our historic cluster development areas. Uh, this is what we need to be a healthier society. It's what we need to be a sustainable society. Um, it's, it's the green way to build. Way to build. $55 million will be given to projects from coast to coast. Vermont will receive $800,000. $400,000 will go to Wyndham County. The remaining funds will go towards projects in Chittenden County. Live in the newsroom, Jennifer Sheehan, WPTZ News Channel 5.